welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in this lecture we will solve some example based on shear force and bending moment diagram for a simply supported beam so let us start it so here this problem is given to us shear force and bending moment diagram for a simply supported beam with central point load so we have to draw SFD and BMD for a simply supported beam which is having a central point load. So let us draw the figure first. So here this simply supported beam is given to us which is having a central point load W kN. So uh, let us give name to important points. This is point A, point B and point C. Here the vertical reaction will be VA and here the vertical reaction will be VC. So to solve the problem, let us first work out support reactions. As this is a symmetric beam, the load is acting at a center and the beam is symmetric. So reaction VA is equal to VC that is equal to total load divided by 2. Now to draw shear force diagram, let us work out shear force at important points. This is the sign convection for shear force. So shear force we need to work out at these three important points A, B and C. So let us work out shear force at point A. Here we are starting at right hand side of beam. So we will consider this sign convection downward positive. Here VA is acting in upward direction. So it will be negative. Now let us move ahead. We will work out shear force at point B. So algebraic sum of all the forces acting on right hand side that is first VA which is acting in vertically upward direction so it will be minus W by 2 and at point B point load W is acting which is acting in downward direction so it will be plus so ultimately it will be W by 2 kilo Newton and let us work out at point C so on right hand side of point C we will start with VA that is minus W by 2 as it is on upward direction plus W as it is in downward direction and minus W by 2 again as it is in upward direction so it will be negative. So ultimately it is 0 kN. So now let us draw the shear force diagram. So this is the reference line. Now let us start drawing shear force diagram at point A that is negative W by 2. So we will take this ordinate W by 2 in downward direction because it is negative. For this much distance there is no load. So here we will join with straight line. Here the shear force is plus W by 2 so it will be like this and here this much portion there is no load so this is negative and this is plus. So this is the shear force diagram in simply supported beam shear force diagram is on both side plus and minus here point load is there so vertical line no load means horizontal line again point load vertical line no load horizontal line again point load vertical line so this is our final shear force diagram let us work out for bending moment to draw bending moment diagram. So this is sign convection for bending moment diagram. 
So we'll work out bending moment at all three important points. That is point A, point B and point C. So let us start with A. We are starting from right hand side. So anticlockwise moment will be positive. And here at A point, there is no load on right hand side. VA is acting on A which will not create any moment and we also know simple support or simply supported beam there is no moment. At point A moment will be 0 kilo Newton into meter. Now let us work out at point B. Here on the right hand side of point B one point load is there that is W by 2. It will create moment in anticlockwise direction and F, as we started from right hand side anticlockwise moment will be positive. So here it will be plus. The value of force is W by 2 and distance of this force W by 2 from B that is L by 2. So moment will be WL by 4 kilo Newton into meter and at point C it should be 0 but let us check it. We will start with this load so it create moment in anticlockwise direction so it will be plus value of force is W by 2 and distance of this force to C point that is total span L. Now moment due to this point load is in clockwise direction, so it will be negative. Load is capital W and distance of this load from C that is L by 2. So let us simplify it. So on simplifying it we have got that is 0 kilo Newton into meter. Now let us draw bending moment diagram. So at point A, bending moment is 0 kilo Newton into meter. At point B, the value is WL by 4 and at point B again it is 0 kilo Newton into meter. So let us join it. So there will be positive moment of WL by 4 at the midpoint of beam. So maximum bending moment is acting at B point where shear force is 0. So this is BMD. This way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.